Hi friends, I'm going to read The Lion Inside by Rachel Bright. In a dry, dusky place where the sand sparkled gold stood a, stood a mighty flat rock all craggy and old. And under that rock in a tiny full house lived the littlest, quietest, meekest brown mouse. He was so very tiny, so incredibly small, that no one noticed him ever at all. Hello? <clears throat> he got stepped on and sat on. He missed out on stuff, ignored and forgotten. His mouse life was rough. Ow! Ouch! Meanwhile, far above, on top of the rock, Times were quite different. It was lion o'clock. The huge, toothy creature made sure everyone saw how important he was by how loud he could roar. He was head of the pack. He was shouty and proud. He loved flexing his biceps and wowing the crowd. Yes, all were impressed by this mighty king cat, if only, thought Mouse. I could be more like that. Then late one dark night in his tiny mouse bed, the cleverest thought popped into his head. He leapt up in the darkness, held up a paw. I've got it, he said. What I need is a roar. I mean, what if this mouse with the weeniest squeak were the little more grr and a little less meek? Well, he'd still be the smallest of fuzzy brown mice, but he'd make friends and join in and life would be nice. Yes, thought the mouse. I must find out how. I will learn how to roar and I will learn it now. But it wouldn't be easy. There was only one beast who could teach him this thing, but might make him a feast. It was time to be strong, take a chance. After all, forever was such a long time to feel small. So he made himself brave and he thought like a winner. He set off to the top, hoping not to be dinner. It felt like the scariest thing he could do, but if you want things to change, you first have to change you. The farther he climbed, the closer he got to the slumbering lion reclining on top. Then at last, as he stood on his tippy toes, he found himself suddenly nose to nose. fell that twinkling plane. Lion opened his eyes and puffed out his mane. Time went so slowly it felt like a week. Then he opened his mouth and let out a yeek. The lion curled up in a terrified ball. He didn't like this. Not one bit at all. Don't hurt me, he whimpered. Oh, try to be nice. Well, this mighty great lion was frightened of mice. Don't worry, Mouse peeped. I'm here as a friend. Let's hang out together and be pals till the end. That was a magical moment for sure when the mouse didn't feel at all small anymore. He had found his true voice and learned to speak out and for that, you don't need to roar or to shout. And from that day and always, the two were a pair. They both liked that rock better. Now that that rock was to share. The mouse, while still little, felt big in his head. And Lion, he still roared, but with laughter instead. Ha, 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 ha. Yes, that day they both learned that no matter your size, we all have a mouse and a lion inside.